Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the Shadow Cookie, your humble host for this Let's Play. The name of the game is Cry of Fear, part 3 of gaming session number 11. No need for long explanations, you should all remember what the hell is currently going on. Westbed Gardens, creeps, all over the place, let's continue. And still no fucking syringes. Delightful. So, I have one more lovely bullet for this sniper rifle. And I'm gonna put it to good use, since there's one more creep that I am aware about, all the way over there in the corner of the garden. I didn't manage to kill him so far, but now that is going to change. Oh really, there's another one? How could I forget? Cut me a break. Back off. Do not touch me. Well, goodbye, sniper rifle. Our good friend Mr. Pistol needs to finish the job. Now what is that guy waiting for? <laughs> what the hell is he waiting for? He just wants to lure me into another ambush. And by the way, there's a lovely statue there in the middle. Just having a nice chill walk out here in the park. We could finish this right now if he would just approach me. There he goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Will you die? Good <laughs> god, stop wasting my ammunition, freaking jerk face. So, now we've killed all the creeps I was aware about, and I'm not yet going to save because I like a little challenge. I like to believe that I'm not immediately going to die on the next new enemy I haven't seen yet. So, let's be careful. Let's be extremely careful. I do not have a map of this place. There could be another creep over <sighs> there, for all I know. All I can suspect or all I can theorize about. I want to get into the middle of this place, to the statue. But being in the middle of a park is normally not a good idea. Besides, there could be more monsters in the bushes. Oh well. Sometimes you just need to take a risk. And what do we have here? <laughs> I'm still gonna pay attention to my surroundings, of course. You know, to be on the absolute safe side, I think I'm gonna head over there first. Because, you know, here I am on the wall. From here I can overlook the entire park and I can also spot new enemies. I mean, look, there are so many trees over here. It's still the perfect scenario for an ambush. Creeps. Hello? Anybody? Anybody want to jump out of me? Anybody wants to be a jerk? <laughs> Is that something in the bushes? Doesn't look like it. Huh. Maybe it's safe to head into the middle of the garden now. Maybe. Maybe being the keyword here. <laughs> Careful. Yes, I think the professional act of commentary has officially stopped. I can no longer come up with professional stuff. I can only state the obvious. <laughs> Things such as... Sh 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 such as... I am running low on health. I am going to die. I do not have a lot of bullets remaining. When is the next enemy going to jump out of me? <laughs> oh dear, from here we can go back to the streets. Aha! No, wait. I thought that was a creep, but I was wrong. Now there's a building. Hmm. So let's think about this real quick. There is a building with a big double door. Could this be the building that the female was talking about? The building she wants to meet me on? Hmm. No idea, but we still haven't examined every single corner of the park, and there could be ammunition and perhaps even a syringe. However, there was also another dark corner, which means there could also be more creeps. Ah oh well, I have enough bullets to kill at least one more of them. Let's just go for it. Hmm. Very suspicious, this entire situation. <laughs> Alright, let's head back into the park. Yeah, this is fucking great. This is a smart idea. You know, I never really understood that. 
In so many horror movies or scenarios, whatever you wanted to call them, sometimes the survivors actually manage to escape the place they were trapped in, like a mansion, an underground complex, and the like. But as soon as they escape from it, they immediately need to head back inside for some reason. I mean, they are just begging for death. They are asking to be killed. Now what do we have here in the middle? Other than creeps, of course. Well, there sure is a statue. Oh. Well, guess what? We found the shovel. <laughs> we found the freaking shovel. Now we can dig up whatever the hell was buried. Of course, this could mean that more monsters are going to spawn. Ah, oh, let's see. It's got crosses of blood on it. I should check it out. Oh, wait a minute. I remember now. Oh, I see. So first of all, you can dig in several places within this garden. You can dig up stuff. Optional goodies? Well, it might spawn new creeps, but what the hell. Optional goodies sounds like a delightful thing. However, do I have inventory space? No, I don't. Hmm, am I still carrying the shotgun? Yes, I do. Let's drop it for now, right here next to the statue. It's a pretty obvious spot. Now then, Mr. Shovel, come with me. Can I use this? Oh, it's a spade, excuse me. Too flimsy to be used as a weapon. Well, that is a shame. Oh well. Let us first of all try to run back to the tape recorder. Aha! Anybody following me? No. Fine with me. Well, I wasn't expecting to survive that, to be honest. So far, so good, I'd say. We have acquired a shovel, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm hoping to find some good treasure and loot. Who knows, maybe this town belonged to pirates once, and they buried all the booty. <laughs> Anybody want to have a taste of my pistol? I dare you. I dare you. There were so many crosses on the map. Either there's a shit ton of loot, or a lot of the holes will be empty. Well, here goes nothing. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. <laughs> diggy diggy hole, I am digging a hole. Oh, there's indeed something in there. A key? Hmm. Picking up a key is normally not a good idea. The last time I picked up a key, a freaking slayer appeared right next to me. And just digging that hole could already have made more creatures spawn. Oh my gosh, whoa, it's a bat, it's a fucking bat, oh my god, it's a bat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a situation where I am going to cheat. I'm extremely sorry, but... I don't have the resources right now to deal with that bat, and I definitely want to examine that park a little bit more, but with that bat flying around it just wouldn't be possible. Oh Jesus Christ, I cannot believe that I have to resort to this kind of method. <laughs> Alright, so... Digging up that key makes a flying bat appear in the middle of the gardens. Lovely, just what I needed. However, there were plenty of other digging sites as well. If only I can find them, or could find them. Here we have one. Oh boy. Each and every hole is going to spawn another nasty surprise, I assume. Pistol magazine! That is something I enjoy. Alright, now I definitely want to check this park out a little bit more. Syringes. Syringes. Did somebody bury a syringe? Just one. Come on. Have a heart. I'm not asking for much. Just one syringe and there's... Is there a building here? This is a very suspicious dick site, but I have to take the risk. Rifle ammunition, now we can deal with that bat, and perhaps more creeps if they decide to jump out. 
I am feeling... I am feeling good. I feel like I am being re-equipped. I am going back to my full strength. Alright, let them come. Let them fucking come. Anybody waiting to jump out? Anybody? Bring it, fucking bring it. I have ammunition. I can deal with you now. I am no longer afraid. Well, alright, that's a lie. I'm still afraid, but still. I can manage to pull through somehow. Let's look for more dick sites. This is actually a fun little hobby. And also there are plenty of doors. Which door is that key going to unlock? Hmm. Well, here we have another hole. Let's have a look inside. Oh boy! A fucking magazine for my assault rifle? That's a first. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And also thank you for not making creatures randomly spawn. <laughs> At least not this far. Oh, you hear that lovely sound? That is the sound of pain waiting to touch my enemies. Finally progress. Finally something. This and... Th uh. <laughs> I, I just want to cry. I want to cry out of happiness and sadness, both at the same time. <laughs> so much ammunition, but still no bloody syringe. Are you kidding me? Well, I am not gonna waste my assault rifle ammunition. Not yet. <laughs> Let's see, I need to look for more crosses. How many did I miss so far? And this map is still confusing me. Where did I come from? Where's the entrance to the park? Hmm, one moment. Hmm. What is that big, like, brown area supposed to represent? Over there? This thing right here? Okay. If that's the thing, then there's a cross right in front of it. I just dug up... I just dug up the cross in the upper left corner. There should be another cross right next to... Right next to this place, over here. <laughs> should. Of course, nobody knows for sure. I am still not really getting the layout of the map all that much. But sooner or later, its secrets <sighs> will present itself to me and I will be rich. I will be bloody rich. This is the statue. This is the statue, alright, so let's see. <sighs> uh, think, goddammit, think. Come on, for once in your life, try to think. You are here. Yes, I am most definitely there. Which means... Ah, alright, alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think now I am understanding. Now I am understanding. Or am I? Am I really? No, I am not. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> well, let's see if we can find some more random holes over here. This is probably my least favorite area of this garden, because it's big, and it has lots and lots of trees. It's dark. <laughs> Plenty of hiding spots for the creeps. Ah, here we have one. A hole. Let there be a syringe. Come on, jackpot, jackpot. Fingers crossed. Jackpot, come on. Ugh, oh, another, another freaking pistol magazine. I am not complaining about the ammunition. I am not complaining at all. But, but health. Health will keep me alive. <laughs> Just one syringe. I am almost at a point where I am willing to believe that I caused some kind of obscure glitch or bug to happen that basically removed all the syringes from this game. But that would be just ridiculous. There has to be a syringe among all these items within this garden. One of them, just one syringe. I am begging you. Here we have another hole. Jackpot, <laughs> jackpot, come on, fucking jackpot. <laughs> and 
And there was a syringe buried inside a hole Somewhere in the middle of Westbed Garden Simon took his shovel, shovel and he dug a lot He put all his strength in it cause it would yield a jackpot And what his eyes gazed upon made him happy and rejoice It was in fact a syringe this song is going nowhere. We have found a syringe at long last. And you all know what that means. No more constant fear. No more one hit kills. Well at least not from the ordinary enemies. No more Simon moaning. No more heartbeat. I am so happy. <laughs> Shooting up! Everybody, drugs are healthy, drugs are good, use drugs, the entire world, <laughs> join me! Mm. Oh yeah! Ugh. Yeah, fucking shoot that stuff into your arm. Juice up, everyone! I can walk normally again! I am no longer forced to walk like a fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? I do no longer need to walk like a freaking old man. I am strong, I am indestructible, I can run away from my enemies. This is the happiest day in my life. We have finally overcome the dangers and challenges of the chapter number three. Of course it is not yet over, but we have overcome we have overcome the worst. Even if there's going to be a terrible creature waiting at the end of this chapter like usually. We have overcome the worst. Now my question is, let's see... How many crosses have I found already? Because I do not want to waste any. Hmm, let's see, that syringe I just found. You are here. That is still not telling me a whole lot. Alright, let's see. There are two crosses very, very close to the statue. In fact, there are four crosses right around the statue in like a square shape if you look at it like this hmm, one second it shouldn't take me long to figure out where all right there's one right over there so let's see one right over there which one of these could it be hmm let's see let's check out something else is there another one no only one I really want to save right now, but... Oh, wait, wait. Could it be that one over there? If yes, then... Yeah, I'm looking at that one, and... Well, I guess now that I'm almost full on health, I'm not feeling all that afraid anymore. Now I can just examine this park. So, let's see. Here we have a hole right next to a tree and here we have a hole as well I could probably just try to follow the layout of the streets or the path but for some reason it's not being all that helpful hmm. this is confusing me what wrong button sorry about that no I I definitely need to check out the road now the path Let's see. I need to look for this shape right here. Uh, we have three paths that basically end in the same um, pattern. Where's the longest path? Aha! This right here is this side. It has to be. So there should be a cross right over here. Maybe we found it already, but it doesn't matter. Well, there's one there, right in front of a wall. I just need to orientate myself a little. What about that one? It's so very hidden away. That cross. Oh, it looks like Cry of Fear has turned into Cry of the Treasure Hunters. Well, I'm not gonna complain. I'm, by the way, really sorry that this is happening. That 
that I'm just standing about trying to search for random crosses. But hey, this is this is this is a part of the game, one and all. So please don't complain. Just try to enjoy it together with me. All right, one more time. So this street right here, there should be a cross right behind this. And I found it. All right, all right. I finally know where I am. I finally know how to read this map. So there should be two more crosses on this side. Did I find them both already? Hmm. I need to constantly look on this map. Let's see. If I'm looking at it like this, then one should be right here, to be honest. Huh. Maybe not all of the crosses are valid. Maybe some of them are just red herrings. Hmm. This big container. All these containers, basically. Were there construction works going on? Anything over here? I can hear noises in the distance. And there are so many doors. I still need to examine all of them. Huh. Two of these crosses do not seem to exist, really. I can't find them. Behind me in the big forest area should be at least three crosses. Let's see if I found them all. And don't let there be any creeps. I have health, but I do not want to immediately lose it again. What a shame would that be. At least I can run away properly now. Alright, there's one, indeed. Was there one up here as well? Hmm. Sometimes I can hear the bushes moving, and I'm always afraid that something is going to jump out. Right now I'm just clicking the use button, or examine button, key, whichever word you prefer. Let's see... That one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I am... I think I'm looking at this the wrong way again. Am I? Yes, I am. This right here... No, wait, you can't see the mouse. I keep forgetting that whenever I say this right here that you guys cannot see me moving the mouse about. The upper... The upper left area is what I just looked at. So, in the lower left area, there should be three crosses. So, opposite of this area, over here should be three crosses. Three of them. Let's see. Hmm. And they are pretty much all in a straight line. I wonder if I can find them all. Let's see. If they really exist, that is. Well, here's one. Yes, I found this one. But is there more? Something over here? No. I am pretty sure that some of these crosses are fake. Trying to lure me into the wrong direction. Well, these doors are still worrying me. The key is worrying me. Everything is worrying me. Well, this episode is coming to an end, so I want to head back to that safe station as soon as possible. One final look. There are four crosses in the upper areas. Four of them. So, I found one in that area. Hmm. I also found one here. Let's just carefully try to head back. Carefully try to head back to the safe station. And who knows, maybe, maybe they'll decide to spare my life. Hmm, I am sure that I'm at least overlooking one cross. But you cannot have everything all at once. Oh well, fine. I'll stick with this loot for the moment. <laughs> what can I say? At the very beginning of chapter number 3, I thought maybe I'll be able to 
handle things. I mean, I had some ammunition for my pistol and shotgun. Oh wait, no, my shotgun was empty. I found some ammunition for that in the um, ventilation shaft when I tried to avoid that parasite. But seriously, the difficulty was cranked up so very much in a short amount of time, I thought that the game had been rendered unwinnable. Especially when we encountered that chainsaw-wielding maniac who is still somewhere out there hunting us. And it just went all downhill from there. Some ammunition now and then, but no health. However, now, I feel like the developers had some mercy. It's like they are not just throwing an impossible scenario at you one after the other, no. They, they um, threw a scenario at me full of creeps, an entire park full of them. But I cleared them all out, and as a reward, they let me dig for treasure. I I have to say thank you, Team Saskala. Some rifle ammunition for both of my rifles, pistol magazines, a syringe. I am feeling happy. Well, I'd say this episode was a complete success. <laughs> when we'll come back, ladies and gentlemen. This is sadly the end of gaming session number eleven. When we'll come back, what else we are going to continue? Let's <clears throat> let's try to speak properly. <laughs> we'll continue to let's play Cry of Fear and hmm, I'm thinking about that female. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? If there is really a survivor in this town wanting to talk to me and it is actually a female. But if this is a nightmare, is she real? And if this is not a nightmare, well in both cases really, can I trust her? Can I even find her? What is that key going to unlock? Maybe the gate we passed by a while ago? What about those other doors in the garden? What about the big double door of that building on the other side of the street? <sighs> All of these things we will find out eventually. <laughs> I'm your host, the Shadow Cookie. Tell your friends, like and leave a comment, blah blah blah, the whole ordeal. I hope that you enjoyed the series so far. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, until then. Also, P.S. Elizabeth, my girlfriend, I love you so very much. Why am I saying this? Because I can. See you next time, folks. Your Shadow Cookie, signing out. Mm -hmm.